Look who sorted out more books that can be donated. It was Adam's birthday over the weekend and because we want to get most of our collection digitally, some of his birthday gifts were some digital versions of these books. I, I say some, it was actually all free books. And now I'm like, I can donate them and someone else can learn about veganism and like there's less to go on my shelves. Yay. <laughs> but I'm happy. One of the things I did get him though was this actual manga. It's by Akira Toriyama. It's a part of the Dragon Ball series in terms of the character. And so I was like, I've got to actually get him this because oh, the dream. Today was one of those mornings where I was super tired because I didn't get my normal amount of sleep. And so I just kind of lay there an extra 15 minutes this morning. I didn't even go back to sleep. I was just kind of like, <laughs> can't face the day. But it was good because I got up and I did some of the stuff I normally do. And it was an exercise day for both me and Adam. I mean, every day is practically exercise day for me, but it was an exercise day for Adam. So he had all his weights and stuff out and I had my bike out, which is not in camera view. So yeah. And it's just really cool because on those mornings, it's like, our living room turns into like a little home gym and then it's just like oh, Adam exercising, I exercising, motivating each other and then Adam's doing meditation and then I was listening to meditation and it's cool and I'm like it's so good to date someone where you're so in tune or in sync and kind of the ideas of life and how you like to do stuff. And it's funny because on my way back from work I ran into one of Adam's co-workers and we were talking and I was saying like this is this about like him exercising and stuff and me exercising and she was like you're such a cute couple you're just both so productive and spare each other on and I was just like oh and it's really sweet because to me I don't think of it as that big of a deal in a way but then when I think of past relationships I do think you know it's so different to the way I've been in relationships and it's so cool but this morning I am gonna make some nice soup because I ate gluten the other day and it was just the worst idea ever. Like, my body seems to be hand, my body seems to be able to handle whole meal, not too processed gluten. But then when I start having like white bread or stuff like that, my body just goes, <sighs> and I'm still kind of recovering. And so my body's just like, just put normal stuff in me, please. Okay, thanks, bye. So I'm gonna make some soup, and it'll be super. It'll be super soup. Tell you what though, these are the problems you can face when you buy bananas regularly. You'll end up with super ripe ones and then all of the green ones that are currently inedible and then they'll all go ripe at one time. Ah, it's like first world banana problems, I tell ya. <laughs> I keep not wearing my glasses and then being like, why do my eyes hurt? And then being like, oh, probably because you're not wearing your glasses. So, yeah. Before I make my soup, I'm going to have some maca. Adam are currently doing six weeks of taking maca because basically the internet says it's super good for you and we always get interested in superfoods and it's been good so far I do think I've actually had better energy since maca 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 experiment normally we both take it in the mornings but this morning he was exercising I was exercising then I'd work at seven and by the end of it I was like oh yes I didn't do that so yeah Maca is such a weird thing because it always smells kind of sweet like caramel. Then it almost tastes like stock. It's like really savoury, but with like an aftertaste of like sweetness. There's no sweet or anything, it's literally just pure maca powder. Organic, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Because Adam's not here, I'm gonna do it to the camera. One, two, three, maca spearmint. <laughs> this is what I do. This is who I am. I have two things that I do daily now is I have my maca and I take my flaxseed and the flax is the one that kind of sucks a bit more because the flax goes like a gel almost which in one sense is good but sometimes you're just like I don't want to eat that but it's really good for your digestion and I have found that it works I was eating six walnuts every day which is a similar effect but I was always forgetting to do it whereas with this it's so quick and I leave it in the fridge and then when I open the fridge I'm like oh yeah there's my flax and I just have to knock it back I have my lemon water to rinse it down, or like reminiscent of my lemon water. Ah. I wonder how many people get up and they're like, time to have maca, time to have flax. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is, I don't like this. I 
just kind of turn into a gel but normally there's not too little water in there but there was like a little bit less water in there than I would have preferred this time so it was a bit like hmm hmm <laughs> oh, but I got through it and it's good for me the thing is if I can tell myself it's good for me then I can get myself to do it it's more when I'm like it's just food I don't like then I'm like no why would I eat this that's a bad idea but when it's good for me I'm like well do it it's good for you but at least at least I really like my lemon water. That's not something I'm forcing myself to do. It really bugs me how much is in front of the TV, but it's certain books or whatever that we're working through that we're planning to get rid of. And I've left them there because if they go with everything that we're planning to keep, they'll just kind of get forgotten about and they won't end up getting worked through. So I'm just kind of leaving them there. But every day I'm kind of like, look at all that stuff in front of the TV. Oh, it would be great to move it, but if I move it, it won't get used and blah, blah, blah. Because we got rid of the book cycle, uh, we got rid of the book cycle. <laughs> we got rid of the bookcase because I'm planning to get a calactor over there, and we gave it away on free cycle, which is really cool. I'd never used free cycle. I'd always heard about it and heard people using it, but I was always kind of scared. I was like, what if a murderer comes? <laughs> what if I arrange for someone to take the bookcase and instead they take my life? It's a, it's a great thing to live with anxiety. It means you're irrational and your brain. I mean, it's not that it couldn't happen, but my brain couldn't be like the likelihood there is. The likelihood is that they're going to take the bookcase and the second likelihood is that they could be a bit strange instead my brain's like well you've just arranged your own death well done <laughs> but it was fine it was a normal person it was like a young guy i say young he was like 24 but he was like i guess to me because i'm 25 now i'm like oh he's a young um, he's a young child <laughs> um and he come and collected the bookcase and he was really surprised that we were giving it away and he was just like oh, what are you doing and Adam said, oh, Coral's trying to become a bit of a minimalist and stuff, and it was really cool, we spoke to him, and he was like, so what are you up to tonight, and I said, oh, me and Adam, <laughs> on Monday we do study nights, so on Monday evenings we have an hour where we just study something that we really want to learn, that oftentimes people say they don't have enough time for, and we've said that excuse our entire lives, and we're like, no, if we want to learn it, we'll do it, so in our study weeks, I've been looking at stuff like meditation, guitar, there's something else, but I totally forgot what it is right now. But these two things, Adam's been doing stuff that's to do with his job, so it's really cool because the other day he came back and he was like, Babe, I was like, What? And he was like, One of the things I learned on Monday night was something that I used in my job today, and it was really helpful. And we were just like, Yeah, high five! Soup. I should make soup, otherwise, I'm never gonna make soup. I do like soup. Soup, soup. What to call a person with a bowl of vegetables that have not yet been used? A silly person. A person who is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if anyone would be interested in knowing the recipe for this because the food itself doesn't even really have a name. We just kind of chuck a bunch of stuff together, but it's really nice. So what I do first of all is I chop up about four small new potatoes. I do them very finely because I make them in the soup maker and if they're too thick, they just do not blend. Then I cut up two to three onions for the food. Sometimes I just put in one when I'm being super lazy and then I regret it. But I cut up two to three onions. Two stock cubes. I use callow low, low salt. A few shakes of mild curry seasoning. Like half a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. A tin of chopped tomatoes. A tin of kidney beans. Something else that I'm forgetting. Sometimes I put spinach in it. But right now I've left the spinach out because I was like, no, I can't bother to do it this time. I'll use the spinach later. But we make it every Monday and it's just super nice because we use the soup maker and we got it from Tesco and it's just a godsend. Like, I don't know how we ever dealt without the soup maker. Like, we could make soup in pans before it wasn't a problem, but the soup maker will cook it for you and it'll blend it for you and you can choose whether you want, like, chunky soup or smooth. You can even cook soy milk in it. It's so great. I love kitchen devices that get used often and also have a purpose because they're just fantastic. Oh, amazing. I first saw one because Adam's parents had made us a soup and I was like, what's that? <laughs> because what, she was like, oh, the soup's ready. And I just looked at it and it was just this massive kind of black, kind of plasticky thing plugged into the wall. And I was just like, is, what, what is that? So it was really good. And yeah, I love the soup. And I'm so excited to eat it.
while I'm recording this, I am watching it cook. 